Okay, so we're in Autodesk Inventor 2018, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the emboss feature, okay? So, so we got Start 2D Sketch, so we have this flat plane here, and basically I just wanna emboss my name on an object, okay, so we can tell you know, that it was mine. All right, uh, this could be any text that you want, though. Uh, so basically we're, we're in a 2D sketch, we applied a 2D sketch to one of the faces. We're gonna get click once on the text um, with the text tool. Um, you don't want to drag, click and drag because basically it'll make a box that then the text has to fit into and it causes problems. You just want to click one time. Also, you want to make sure that you want to kind of, um, if you go ahead and type in here, notice that if I change the size of this text, which I can even just put in here, like 36, right? Um, notice that it doesn't change the size of the actual text. You have to highlight the text and then you can go in and change it, okay? All right, I hit enter that time. Uh, so basically it closed and that's fine. I'm not being too particular with the text here. And we're gonna go ahead and click finish sketch. So now I have this text and all I'm gonna do is click emboss. I'll choose the text as the profile. And these options just tell me whether it's gonna come up from the surface or whether it's gonna get cut into the surface. So in this case, we're gonna cut into the surface and we're gonna go ahead and click okay. All right, so there we have it. If I, if I scroll in here, or if I change, let me see if I can change the, um, let's see if this will be able, we'll be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, there we go. So notice that like the, the, the little part in the middle of the A, if you, if you emboss all the way through, obviously, that will just come loose. Okay, so you want to emboss like not all the way through the piece. You can, but, but those middle parts will come through. Um, there are some fonts that will work for this, but the default font wor won't work for it, all right? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do the curved. Okay, so this curved one is gonna be significantly kind of different, all right? And the difficulty comes with the fact that we can't apply a sketch to a curved surface. So what we have to do is we have to get that the work plane. Okay, so a work plane allows us to put a flat <coughs> surface tangent to a curved surface and apply a sketch to it, okay? So to do that, we're gonna choose the work plane tool first. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and highlight. We're gonna choose which plane we wanna put it on. In this case, the YZ plane. Notice that's the plane that's closest, you know, kind of almost in parallel to the plane that we're using. Then we wanna click on the surface that we want the work plane to be tangent to. Okay, so that was this curved surface right here. And notice that it went right tangent to it. Then we're gonna apply a 2D sketch. Okay, we're gonna Click the text tool again, just like before. Okay. Notice I'm going to highlight it to change the size. Say I want it giant. Okay. In this case... As luck would have it, it turned all the way around. So I'm gonna click OK. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click Rotate on the text. So notice that if it doesn't turn right where I want it, we can just rotate it. Easy, done. Okay, we drag it down to where we want it. And we're gonna click Finish Sketch. Okay, now our problem comes in the fact that notice that the, the text that we want to emboss is not sitting directly on this, right? So we have, to, we have to basically what's called wrap to face, all right? So we're gonna use the emboss tool. We're gonna select the text as usual, okay? But then we're gonna select this feature wrap to face, all right? And then we're gonna go choose the face, and that face is this, um, whoops. And there's the face we want, right? Okay? Again, we want the cut, which is fine. We're gonna go ahead and click okay and it, it generates it right there. See how it snapped back onto the surface? So essentially it goes back onto that curved surface and it embosses just as you, just as you would expect. Okay, so that is our uh, text emboss on a flat and curved surface.